hello hello welcome back to my channel so this is day three of the seven days back to back of the day by days for me and I'm doing this page now because this is one of her ready-made the dilution sorry ready-made background books these two were similar and I wanted them to be two separate days all I did was I took <clears throat> excuse me um, one of my the Tim Holtz water brush pins and colored over the entire page with this is a blue lagoon and then I took a stencil and laid it on top and sprayed water and blotted it up and I allowed it to dry so for this page it's gonna be a super simple super quick page I'm just gonna take my journaling block and my pencil I'm gonna turn my book towards me and I'm just going to draw a little line. I'm gonna draw a thicker line. It's probably about mm, three quarter of an inch thick. And then about a quarter inch line. And I'm just gonna continue that process all the way down the page. You don't have to use your pencil you can actually use your paint pen doing this I just find it a little bit easier and then the cleanup isn't near as bad because in using the paint pen it tends to get on the side of the journaling block and then I have to clean it up okay And then down here, it's going to be a little bit skinnier of a line, but that's all right. Leave yourself enough room to make a about a quarter inch border on top and bottom. And then grab your paint pen and trace over your lines. They only have to be perfect if you want them to be. But for me, it doesn't bother me. Turn my book this way. Now, if you are doing this on a page that is completely covered in ink, remember to let your um, page dry for a full 24 hours before doing it. I had just went in and done this um, whenever I decided to use this book for my March book because I always number my pages ahead of time. All right, and we've got that so far. So then you can either use your bigger black paint pen or you can use the same one. And oh goodness, no. That's going to bother me. And go in and color it all in. Solid black. to get my bigger one because this is going to take a while otherwise. so that can have a little bit of time to dry. 
and then do the next one. And if you just let the tip of the pen touch the paper, you get a smoother coverage as opposed to like trying to apply pressure and whatnot. I know it looks kind of ugly for the moment, but it won't whenever we get finished with it. Uh, I will grab my bigger pen and I mean you could use your paints if you had a stencil that had the lines and just go in and use the paints because what I want to do is I want to add white on here and if you put white on top of the blue ink it'll just end up absorbing the blue color and it would look pretty because it would make it like a lighter blue, but that's not the look that I'm wanting. So that's why I'm doing it this way. You could speed this bit up if you wanted to. I'm just going to continue the process all the way down. Honestly, on the ed edges here, it doesn't really matter because I'm going to put a border on there. So I guess I don't have to go all the way over. But say you didn't have the border, you would want to go all the way over with that. I don't know exactly how far over I need to go. do is go ahead and put it on I guess and see if that makes it easier for me There's no real techniques in these, it's just playing and hopefully giving you guys some motivation or inspiration, I guess, for doing your own journals or even just a random page.
if you guys have tried any of the things that I've showed you, I would love to see them. Um, I have a Instagram. Um, I believe it's Ray's Creative. And a Twitter as well. I think it's the same. Although I will say I'm not that great at either one of those. I don't fully understand how they work. I'm learning it. Last one. Sorry, I have to have the book turned so that way I can see and it makes it much easier on me. But you still get the gist of what I'm doing. just in case because I don't know how far over my border is going to go. Mm -hmm. Alright, we've got all of that. Now I am taking my border pages and I'm just going to put this right here. I want to separate the two for sure, and this is one way to do it. So, I've got double sided tape on the back. I'm just going to peel it off. Take my glue stick and glue it on. I put glue all over the back here. benefits to the glue stick is it gives me the extra uh, sense of security that these will stay on my page as well as it gives you more mobility for moving it in case you don't get it in the precise place that you want it the first time. Give it a good press. All right. And then I have these little, I thought they looked like little bows, but they were cute. But they're little flowers from her, um, the Dilutions foliage fillers. And I thought they looked like little bows, but I was like, you know what? I want this page to be simple, so I decided to do me up a few of them. And I put some double-sided tape on the back, and I'm just going to adhere them on really fast. Because for the next step, I don't want to do extra if I don't have to. on the back here really well. And then I'm just going to take these and put them in the corners like so. It's going to balance my page out for me. And then I'll do the other three really fast. It's 
like it's gone over a bit. So we can get that off of there. And place this one on top here. Just like that. For the top two, I want the smaller one to be on the bottom. So, I'm gonna go ahead and peel the tape off of both of them at once. Decide which way I want it. I think I want this one to go this way and this one like this. I'm gonna put them both down at the exact same time. Okay, give them a good press and see it kind of, here we have the cream and white and then I got the cream and white over here. So to me, it balances my page. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my white Posca pen and I want to create um, little, mm, I love her inks, but they are always reactive to moisture of any kind. And it feels like my hands may have been, it's probably from the lotion. It's just picked it up. So that's not cool. <laughs> But I'm going to go in and I'm going to create the, um, oh goodness. The, um, um, um I don't know what they're called. Just the squ square looking things here. I'll show you. Just like that. And if I would have not put the black all over, oh, come on, is it gonna work? Then it would just make a light blue because it doesn't matter if you use the Dilutions paint pen or the Posca paint pen, it still ends up being that it picks up the ink underneath. Now my paint pen's not gonna work. Nice. All right. And I'm gonna jump up to this one and do it. Border's not wanting to stick all the way down, oddly enough. Let's flip the book around. Do the same here.
And it don't look like I got full coverage with the black, so it is kind of picking up some of the blue. I'll pick, I'll show you in just a second. So what I'll have to do is I'll have to give this another coat after this dries up a bit. like right here it's just picking up the blue and that's what will happen if you don't have the paint underneath oh, come on there we go I'm just making it be wonky. Okay, and then this one. Do I want to do it inside those or do I want to do something else? Let's do, you know what? I am going to do, um, let's just do the same old simple, if I can get it to do it, that is. Come on, running stitch in between. and bottom just like that turn it around Just got a text. All right. And now, I don't know if these are going to be dry enough to try to go over again. Let me do that real quick and see. If they will or won't. And make them a bit brighter. just being crazy not wanting to work properly yeah no nope. I'm gonna give it more time to dry but that's it I think what I do need to do is take my black paint pen and go around my border here as well as my images that one and then this one up here okay and when those 
those dry up better, I'll go in over them again with my paint pen. And when I'm ready to write in here, I'll write about the date and it's that simple. It's a very easy, easy page and it was done in a matter of a few minutes. I don't know, maybe 10. But, alright, I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, please give it a like. And if you're not yet subscribed, please subscribe. Um, and I hope you're staying safe, staying warm. And, well, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.